Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. I just got this, uh, this in the mail. This package looks like it's been in a war. So not all of it is here, but I figured uh, I'd do a quick unboxing and kind of talk about my first impressions of it. And uh, look at this here, would you? It's, uh, it's been beat up pretty good, huh? Holy smokes, it doesn't want to let go. It doesn't want to let go. By the way, sorry for my haphazard filming. It's just uh, kind of an impromptu kind of thing here. You know, with my creative ability, you know, put some, uh, put some magic to this here. Okay, so there's the, uh, there's the battery. What is this? There's the, what is this? Oh, how about that? The uh, GPS, GPS remote. Looky here, would you? Oh, yeah, that's nice. How far out does it go? Man, you know what? This is uh, this is a pretty impressive uh, quality. You just pull it. Duh. Oh, holy smoke roonies The invisible selfie stick that uh, you hear so much about. This is my uh, first 360 camera. Let's go ahead and open this up. Check it out. Oh, wow. That is nice. Look at that. Wow, that is, uh, that is really solid feeling. Oh, well, that just popped right off. Guess we don't need that, right? Wow, that's, uh, that really feels really good. But uh, anyway, I have to thank you guys for this camera. Because you guys watch my videos and you enjoy them, I make a certain amount of money from advertising as uh, you know that that's kind of how YouTube works. and uh, anyway this allows me to invest back into the channel buy the things that I need to make you know bigger better videos bigger better batter oh okay you just kind of push it in okay do not drop into a fire can you believe that Apparently, that warning is there because it was needed, <laughs> is my guess. Okay, and then this is the 360 lens. So I've got the 4K 360 kit. This was on a, an extremely drastic sale for Amazon Prime Day. A buddy of mine has the, the Insta 360X, I believe. 1X? Yeah, the 1X. And he let me use it on a few occasions. There's a couple of my videos that have uh, 360 video in it. And that was uh, because he let me use his camera. USB to USB-C. And I really found it to be useful, very useful, as a matter of fact. Do not throw away. Use these desiccants if you plan to use your 1R in humid environments. Okay, well that's interesting. I've never seen a camera come with decadence. Des desiccants? I don't even know what that's all about. Vision Company, this must be a cleaning cloth. So we got a cleaning cloth, quick start guide, Waterproofing, what you need to know. I've never I've never seen a camera come with what you need to know about the waterproofing. You know, an action camera come with that. Ooh, we got a couple of six stickers, which is nice. I'll be able to uh, incorporate that. And looky here, we got ourselves something in here. Okay, so this goes over the 360 mod. Let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead. I think they call these mods. These parts right here, these lenses are called mods. So we'll just put the, the and it comes with that lens cover. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Comes with a cage, but no cold shoe mounts, which is kind of a problem. You know, you can't mount anything on it, which is, you know, that's kind of an issue for me personally. Uh, but 
you know, nothing I can't remedy. So there's the, the cage. What's in here, I wonder? Oh, the mount. So you get a quarter inch, quarter inch 24 mount, which is, you know, probably the exact one you need. So we got cleaning cloth. Let's see, let's round this up here. Let's get rid of all this. So you got the, 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 the des, desiccants. Is that how you pronounce that? Desiccants? Oh, you guys can't see squat diddly. I don't think. Desiccants? <laughs> I just figure if I keep saying it. Uh, rat, original rat, but this is in D2, in case you guys were wondering. You knife fans out there. So cleaning cloth, mount, camera, 360 mod with the lens cover, USB cable. Let's go over here, an extra battery. And I have another, another battery uh, coming. So I'll have three batteries. I figure that should be enough for a day's worth of filming. And I've got the quick charger, the quick charger coming. Here is the, the mic adapter, which kind of concerns me because I plan to use this as an action cam. Uh, what's funny about this camera so I see so many YouTube videos telling everybody how great this camera is and whatnot, and how it's the you know it's their favorite action cam, and then their very next video that you see that person making, they're not using this camera; they're using a GoPro. So <laughs> that's just what I've been seeing over and over again. I I mean who. Who is actually using this camera uh, as their full-time action camera? Post in the comments if you're a person who is using this camera as your main action camera. Or if you know a YouTuber that uses this camera as their action camera. I'm not talking about somebody that got sent the camera and then they said how great it was, and then after, switched back to their GoPro. I'm really wanting to know if there's somebody out there that has really embraced this system. I've got plans for this camera, but I don't know if it'll take the place of my normal action cam. This is, this is what I'm kind of concerned with, that, that I've seen. So, I need this microphone adapter for sure. And okay, so you can imagine it's mounted on, I mount my action camera on the right side of my helmet. Well, the lens is on the left side of this camera. So you can't do that. So if you move it to the left side of the helmet, right? So now the lens is farther away from the side of the helmet uh, now you've got this sticking way out here. So this thing has got to be at least this far off the side. Oh, you know what? I happen to have my helmet right here. But you guys, ah, there's no way I can show it. Uh, maybe there is. Hold on. Anyway, check out what I'm saying here. Okay. You guys see, here's my helmet. See, so this, look how far this thing sticks out. Can you guys see that? Look how far this thing sticks out the side of the helmet. And my particular helmet has to have the camera on the sides and not in the front like it, you know, like some people use. Has to be on the side because this is a hamburger helmet and it flips up in the front so you can eat hamburgers. So it sticks, and, and look how, where the lens is. The lens is all the way against the helmet, I suppose that's. And then look at how far the microphone jack is just sticking way, way out there on the side. And then if you flip it to the other side, okay, let's flip it to the other side. Let's, let's uh, pretend like I, I put a mount over here, right? So now what you got, I'm trying to get this all in the, in the frame. So now what you got is the camera kind of sitting here, sticking way out, but the microphone adapter. So yeah, I don't know. So it is an action camera. It's kind of hard to figure out a way to use it, right? You know, if you mounted it on the front of your helmet, well, you, you got this, you've got this on the front 
and you still have this thing kind of protruding out, but I guess it's not as big a deal, but I don't have a helmet where you could mount this on the front. So anyway, I'll have to figure that out, but I'm just, I, these are just thoughts I have just from looking at this thing. So anyway, that's how big it is. That's how um, large and everything it is with the normal 4K mod on it. And this is the GPS remote. And I needed this because you guys know how I like to, if you've been watching my, uh, my videos for any length of time. Oh, look, it comes with a little rubberized uh, kind of cover for it and a strap, I guess, for your wrist. That's kind of cool. I didn't know it came with that. Oh, looky here, another USB cable. And I think this also works with the uh, Insta360 One uh, X. I believe this uh, still works. It's kind of got like a like a rubberized coating on it, like a rubber coating, and also allows you to get the GPS data. That is still unknown exactly where that data is stored, where the where the tracking file, where the GPS file is kept. I don't know yet, so that's something I'll have to figure out. Oh, and then the last. The last thing over here is the lens guards for the 360 mod. Those are the lens guards for the 360 mod, and we'll uh, we'll try those out. Um, and uh, these these are large for sure. But anyway, just to kind of give you an idea, if this was the 360 mod, they kind of just kind of sit like that. So that just makes this thing even bigger. But I always use lens guards because I do off-road stuff. So you gotta have lens guards because you scratch your lens. Well, you have to replace the lens. So I will start using this. I know I'm late to the party. Everybody and their brother was given this before it ever came out and they got to play with it and everything. And I'm just now showing up to the party. But like everything, maybe you guys want to hear what I have to say about it. That's kind of what I'm hoping. And I know this video went on long, but uh, hopefully you found some use out of it and I'll edit it up. Chop, 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 chop. I'll chop it up into something a little bit more, less rambly. You know, this was just off the cuff. It just arrived, the dude just handed it to me and uh, pretty excited to get to use it. And if you wanna find out what I think about this, this would be a good opportunity for you to like, comment and subscribe uh, on this video and follow along for uh, future videos about this camera and about the interesting ways that I plan to use it in the future. Uh, the weather is cooling off here in Arizona and I will be taking advantage of that coming uh, real soon. So thanks for watching guys. I really do appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one on that end.